agitated. So, but the logic is in one one aspect of it. It's time and about time. First of all, time is a reality to it. Yes. Thanks, bro. You fit you. You were like a fisher of men. You brought a couple of fishermen. The lady will just have to. Like some lady was coming or whatever. Not that you're not a lady. A lady <laughs> from another another group. <laughs> Somehow, someone told me they were coming. So I'm waiting for. Uh, trying to sort of stall, so to speak, <laughs> so yeah, so this logic, first of all, let's just look at time, a lot of people don't talk about much, I guess, but time, we believe that time is a, what was a past, yes, and then there's a present, and then we're inexorably moving to a future, yeah, it doesn't usually turn like left or right, it's just basically past, that has happened, this is happening, and, and then shit's got to be happening, yeah? The problem is the emphasis is more on past and future. Your thought system, you don't need to look at it long, you can see it. <laughs> really, five minutes, it'll reveal its theme, you know? Really. If you go to one Seinfeld show, you get the theme, it's all about nothing, yeah? You, you get the, you know, you don't have to... Let's study this, you know, it's pretty... So, <laughs> you see the thought system, and you're listening to it all day. Let's say you're, drop the you that's listening to it all day. The language always presupposes a now, you know? Like, you're the one that's listening to it all day, therefore that gives you the, the, you know, the platform to go into guilt and shame or pride or whatever. I didn't listen to it today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's some weird thing, so, but there's... There's a listening to it, and past, it's not, it's past hearing, it's, it's way past hearing. There's a listening to it, there's, an, there's interest there. Hearing is like birds and stuff like that. You're not usually noticing the thoughts like, oh, birds are flying by. <laughs> they like, people like to give you that one. Just see them as clouds in the sky. <laughs> yeah, you know, but most people, <laughs> they just, you know, these things, they're nice suggestions, but they don't work really. Because if they did, you wouldn't be at the retreat. <laughs> if it was working, you wouldn't be there. You really wouldn't. So, they, these types of suggestions, they don't really, they're difficult to do. Yeah. Now, if you're in the right condition, yeah, that would be an observation. You would see thoughts as clouds. But see, then someone has an observation, but then show to ask you, and you haven't had that observation. Now there's pressure to have that observation. Yeah? So now you're trying to see them as clouds. And then what happens is it doesn't matter if there's success or not, there's still a seeing them from you. See, you never gets looked at as a cloud. It doesn't. It's like the Dracula will go on all the vampire hunts because then all the uh, suspicion is off him. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> because I hate him because he's the biggest one of all. So, and and I humbly believe all the attraction to all of the managing all these activities is really a, a way of diverting or sleight of hand not to look at the one. So people have problems, but who is that one who has the problems? Yes, you can see like. There's a lot of seeing going on today, but all the seeing implies only one seer. If you got that everyone was seeing, it would be a much different joyous event. But it's you seeing, yes? Yeah. So the seeing, the seeing, is claimed to imply you seeing. Yeah, it's, it would be cool if you know, everyone's seeing. <sighs> See, you know. No, really, it would be. It would probably be short-lived because it, it's always it was still an experience. So every bubble pops. Yeah. You ever try to keep a bubble in place? <laughs> I got a bubble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like trying to extend an experience. It just doesn't work. Yeah. You know. So the logic has time, and obviously. So this is feeling a past, future, I mean past, present, future, and it just goes that way. And so it's difficult to, to maybe even uh, entertain that that which comes after is, is implied to be before. We don't, 
it doesn't make sense because we think after is after and before is before, past is before. So, you know, when people get into the, the mind candy of talking about time, and all, all time is happening right now, sounds good, but not many people are experiencing that way, you know. Past, present, future, it's all, but it's true, it's all arising. But when it's logically claimed by this, it's put in a line. Past, present, future. Now, you can talk about past and future as not so at all, but it, it still has a huge, in this logic and in, with us as these single action figures, it seems to have, uh, yes, it was past, this is present, and this future. And the present doesn't really be seeming to get much play, does it? Really? <laughs> it really doesn't. It, even if it, we try to, the past and the future keep encroaching seemingly, as if they're like barbarians at the fucking wall. You know, so they keep coming in and ruining our fucking Saturday. So that's where Tuesday is lurking and we've got that deadline next week. So it's so like, how can I really relax when I'm, you know, I'm going to be tense Wednesday? You know? So the time, but it's more the linear part of it. So the mental state does something tricky to us. It just, it, 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 it uses an activity of claiming or assuming, and so what's happening, like thoughts. Thoughts happen. You, you're not like the manufacturer of thoughts. There's manufacturing of thoughts, but you're not the manufacturer of it. It's like you have a, a factory and there's a lot of companies that you have no idea are using the, fa the facilities producing stuff. And every time you see it, it has your name tap stamped on it. Oh, these are my thoughts. But you don't remember making them and asking for them, do you? No. So there's thoughts, feelings, you know, sensations. You have tons of them. You know, stomach, gurgling. You know, there's tons of shit going on. If you put like a stethoscope almost anywhere, you, you wow. Like blood pumping, muscles contracting. I mean, there's tons of movement. Yes? And we could say they're feelings or sensations. So there's feelings and sensations, there's thoughts, and all of these are happening. And then the mental state, which is there, brought, and it's brought to this position of, of acknowledgement of the thoughts by consciousness. Consciousness is what's providing the light. It's sort of like if I was in this room and if the lights were off, I wouldn't see anything. Yes? Now, you could say I have sentience, but I wouldn't be seeing much. You know what I mean? I wouldn't. Yeah? But with the light on, oh, there's a chair. Uh, yes? So now there's a light on thoughts and feelings. When you were a baby, the light wasn't directed there, really. Yeah? There's was was no central spotlight looking. It was just kids, whatever. I don't know, maybe they have thoughts go by, but there's no capturing any of them until a certain point, then they go into the my and, you know, separate and all like that. So, all right, so thoughts. We're just going into it tonight, because it's fun. <laughs> so thoughts, so there's this logic. So the mental state does one movement. It only has one movement. Yeah. And the movement is claiming. Yeah? It claims. Yeah. How does it claim? By inference, by assuming. So it tries to get to this point by going like this. And what, actually, with the idea of being you, it goes, I was you, yeah, in the past. I have pictures to prove it. I will be you, therefore I am you. It doesn't start with, I am you. It's, I am you, and then, I was, I will be, and gets to I am. Where what we are is I am. It doesn't need any, like, bumper shot. It doesn't need any reflection because it's a light of itself. It's on, yeah? It doesn't need proof that it was on by I was on, I'm going to be on, therefore I'm on, that's ball now. It doesn't need to go that way. So the, so the claiming claims the action, at, claims the feeling, claims the sensation. Now you're not doing this. This is just a process, a very fast process of claiming. Yeah? Conscious contact, some, you see a thought, there's an action done, they're easier to notice, right? Feelings. And then there's a claiming of those feelings to do what? To imply there's a one. Yeah? So it, 
All right, so every thought pretty much that goes through this little very, very small, there's the consciousness, but the mental sentience is pretty myopic, yeah? Because it's, 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 it's filtered through self-centeredness. It's got a very small view. So whatever thoughts appear to it, or it gets to see, it claims them. And it claims them to imply the thinker. Yeah, so what, how many, could be a terrible thought, can be a great thought, it's usually gonna be claimed to imply the thinker. It doesn't matter the grade or the quality of the thought, it's just the fucking volume of the thought. <laughs> A lot of it needs a lot of thoughts because it's like a magic trick. It's got to keep pointing for an assumption to take place where you go, this is the thinker. This is, yeah, which is insane to believe this is a, this can't even fucking, you know, when daylight savings occurs, you can't even remember which hour went what, but this is the thinker. Now, come on, it's a real, it's a fucking stretch, yeah? And it puts it on. And then all these feelings, some exquisite, some crude, you know, gas or whatever, some of this stuff, <laughs> stuff between material and gaseous, you know, so, <laughs> some of these things, it claims them to apply the feeling, yes? So whatever happens, you're not conscious or unconscious, there's a claiming going on, yeah? Of, and so it uses what's happening to prove that there's someone that's either doing it or being done to by it, really. That's it, it goes either way, yeah? So, so that which comes after, which is this arriving at a, a, as a doer, which, which comes after the doing. So the doing is first, so there's just doing. There's just feeling, there's just seeing, there's just tasting, there's touching, there's acting, all of these things are happening. And those things are being used to imply that there's a doer, a thinker, a haver, a loser, all this stuff. Yes? That's so, and so that which is implied is after the fact, but suddenly it gets presupposed to be before the fact. So it becomes the fact now that you are Paul, who's seeing, hearing, feeling, taste, touching. It's, it would seem to be. So what? What does it matter? Well, you know, see what happens <laughs> when that. See what happens when that is in place. The emphasis on living gets moved to a narration or an interpretation of living. Yeah. So now, the important thing is you were living or you will be living. The living itself is really underemphasized because in the the. The, this moment, the activities aren't the like the splash of fresh running water. They're just being used to point to rehashing, rethinking, refeeling, resenting, redoing, re da 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 da. Yes. So the the aliveness is used to deaden, in a sense, the aliveness, and the importance is more. I was alive, and I'm gonna be alive. So a lot of people are doing a lot of shit with the hopes that they're going to arrive at a much better fucking place. And they're always rudely, rudely disappointed when they arrive there, and the there that they arrive to is here. <laughs> and so suddenly, the same thing that drove them to want to get out of here is driving them to want to get out of there. Now, they, their idea was, I, they'll never have that drive to get out of there when I arrive there, but it's here. It doesn't make much difference, yeah. <laughs> because for that thing to continue, it's like for it to keep, quote unquote, live, it has to stay agitated. It can't rest. Because its, it's irrelevance or its non-existence would become obvious. So it has to constantly be agitated to me, yes. So it's always in this desiring to become and unbecome. It's desiring to become things it doesn't think it is, and ultimately the idea of being a thing, a separate, independent, separate entity, and it's trying to unbecome things it believes it is, which it isn't either. So it's not going to be what it wants to be, and it ain't what it's wanting not to be. So it just fuels like a, like a, a eternal slinky 
doesn't need a stare, just go. <laughs> and this is why some master will say, hey, you can't use activity to produce stillness. That would be activity, you see? There's a fundamental little trap we all can fall into. Hey, how are you? Hi. Come on and grab, grab this chair too. Great. There's a fundamental little trap you fall into, yes? Yeah, how are you doing, guys? We started a little, uh, well, we started right on time. <laughs> how are you? Have you ever heard anything? No. No, all right. <laughs> All right, well, it's the first time. Let's, let's reel back. <laughs> All right. All right, simple. It's a simple invitation. We're talking about, uh, actually, from a topic called non duality. You may run into it. It's, it's all in vogue now in small circles. <laughs> and um, non-duality in one level is just a negation. Non means not, and then duality means two. So what do they mean by two-ness? All right, well, let's shrink it down to the two-ness that seems to occupy us. So subject, object, yeah. So sometimes you're the thinker of thoughts, yeah. That would mean a subjective position. Sometimes you're the object of thoughts. Sometimes you're sitting there thinking about you as this body, as this action figure. That would mean you're an object. And sometimes you feel like you're the thinker about someone else, that would make you the subject, yes? So the subject and object is the agitation, yes? So the subject decides, I think I need to go on a retreat, yes? Very important. I'm going to go on a 10-day retreat. Never been on one at all. You know, but I'll, I'll get right into it, I'm sure. And so it goes there, the subject arrives there. But then what starts attending the retreat is the object. And the object's been sitting for 10 hours, and it's fucking ass hurts. And it's going to figure out, how the fuck can I lift this left cheek? And I just, what the freaking, what, how did, why did I ever decide to come here? Yeah, because the object would have said, no freaking way, I'm sitting 13 hours in a freaking day. But the subject, oh, my God, this is going to be a shooting up to the stars. And the subject loves to go where the body gets dragged to. The body doesn't want to sit for 13 hours, doesn't want to, you know, ex doesn't want to chant, I'm not a body, I'm not a body, it's just like, you know, whatever, yes? So there's a subject-objectness. And again, again, the you just bounces back and forth, you as an object, you as a subject, you as the object, you as subject. Yes, which one is it? It's neither, really. And it's just subject-object. So what... The message of non-duality is, is there's none of that. In fact, none of that is true. It's activities that are happening in a larger context that doesn't have a, a split of subject-object. It's not this or that. It can't be close or far. It's just what it is. So let's say it would be like this, you know, this room. You could divide this room with like five walls, but would the space really be divided? Do the walls take up space? They appear in space, yeah? The space would still be completely whole as it is, no matter how many things you divided it. When you took the wall down, would you have to like rush in with space to fill it up? You know? No, the space, this is appearing in space. This is appearing in space. This isn't taking up space. When we die, the, the space doesn't get lighter. <laughs> it's just nothing, it's just, so that's it, that's what is, yeah? And then here, in this, in this place of appearing, because whatever comes and goes is an appearance. There is no real thing. There is no object that doesn't come and go. Yes? Reality is not of things. So this place of coming and going, there's no reality in a sense here, other than what? There's a lending of reality by the subject that we are. Not the subject-object dichotomy, but the subject looking through subject-object. Suddenly, it forgets that it's dreaming and it takes itself to be the dreamt, and then everything it's dreaming has the ability to affect it. Mm. As the dreaming, it's not affected, but it can be seemingly appearing to be true to it. If I'm a thing, then I can be affected. So now thoughts can freaking drive you crazy, even though you're dreaming them. 
So suddenly the power that we are has been lent to things and those things are biting us in the ass and many of us take our victim role or powerless role or this or that but we, and oh I'm in a terrible dream and they're imposing all this shit on me but really if you look at it ultimately maybe you're the dreaming of the dreaming maybe you're the mind that's dreaming not the thing that's appearing in the dream but the dreaming of the dream that would change a lot yes maybe instead of looking at everything like this of how it pertains to you the you that now was entertained would be very, very big, so you would see like, root, and then there would be no whys, you know, fuck, it doesn't care anymore. I don't care how it pertains to me, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just pertaining. So, this, this message is it's just an invitation, really. It's an invitation. Uh, a lot of people in this room have done most of the late work to can save you a lot of time if you listen to them. <laughs> There's probably hundreds of years of trying to get out of a self as a self, and it hasn't worked well. And after they blamed themselves and berated themselves and thought it was because they didn't listen enough or study enough, they probably come to the same conclusion. Self can't get out of self. Yes, that which you would like to get out of, you can't get out of as that which you'd like to get out of. So if you're identified as the problem, that's the, that's the problem, because the problem seeking a solution, not knowing that it's going to arrive at the solution and make it a problem. Yes, and this is like self can't get us. Yes? So, this is the question, and maybe, just maybe, then at least you would, let's say, be rebooted, so to speak, because now the source code has been questioned. It's not, it's not questioning the programming and the format, it's just the source code. Does all this imply a someone? I just don't see it anymore. I just think everything is verbing and there's no one that all the things are pointing at. We give them the pointing ability. It's just like this. This is just a bottle. Everyone sees it. Yeah, but the mental state uses this bottle to claim that there's my bottle. Like my head goes, this is mine, see? And so the, the bottle's reality is lent to this fake little ghost reality, yeah? So there's thousands of thoughts, and they're all held as my thoughts, so each one of them, noted, goes, <laughs> he's pointing at this imaginary someone, and then you're pictured as a body. And now the body becomes the depository of all the claiming. All the claiming almost like it's, it's like this living clay of claiming, and then there's a, some breath put into it for like 80 years, and now this walks around believing it's the doer, the thinker, the feeler, the haver, the loser, the one who's terrible, the one who's pretty good, unless he's really terrible, the unlovable one, or the most lovable one, or the pride, all of those, all of these little, like, fucking mental handkerchiefs that go flying you know, out of this, Thing all day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you know, at night you go to sleep and all of it gets dismissed as if it never happened. And then, if you're lucky or unlucky, whatever, you wake up in the morning and it's you know, there's a leather jacket, you put it on, and you play another episode of the Bonds, you know, happy days, and you fucking head of an act. And, and uh, but now you start wearing it quite loosely. and your joy isn't based on outside circumstances and situations. Your sense of inherent okayness isn't procured or acquired. It's not attained, so it can't be lost. Yes, you don't have it, so you can't lose it. And it, and it gets, it, it skirts a lot of, of the little mechanisms of getting you caught again. Yes, because it's a beautiful answer. Because you're not trying to get out, you realize you're not in. Yes, and in the realization you're not in, those urges to want to get out, dismiss, and there's, and the validity of that logic rings pretty well. You realize, Jesus Christ, I've been trying to get out of what I've not been in for 30 years. Yeah, so now you're not wasting time looking for what can't be found. You don't have many uh, metaphysical questions. I don't think I've run into a why in a long time. I hear them occasionally, but I veer right away. <laughs> the why is just, 
why not? And so, you know, things get really simple. And then really, maybe this is the ultimate success. All that obscured and mutated thing you call spirituality is just totally removed out of you. You have no interest in it whatsoever. I would say that's complete success, really. I mean, normalcy is like the, the greatest place to hide. No one wants it. <laughs> Everyone wants to look special or have special experiences. But it's a wide berth in there. Yeah, nothing is... You can't add or subtract from it. Yeah, it's always available at all times. And if you just entertain it, you may see it as everything. And then you're truly on to something because... Uh, once the mechanism fires, and you only hear it's like a exhaust burp at the third one, you're sort of caught in it in a sense. There's no you caught, but there's a caught in it. You gotta see it before you get in the vehicle. Yeah. And then there's an abstaining. You can just go, hey, and then the vehicle drives and drives. And it's a self-driving vehicle. You see, you believe it's you, but it isn't. There's never been you, and things have gone on just the way they're going on. <laughs> so when you say, well, if there is not a you, everything's going to stop. No, there's never been a you, and it just continues on. Yeah? And then, uh, in a sense, it's weird. You'll be more of an individual when you're not taking yourself to be one. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to really, you know, whatever, free range, in a way. So... I found that this, I found this non-duality and I thought it was going to be, I thought of many things. I thought it was going to, uh, I couldn't see it as any other way that I saw everything else, as a path or something. And this is not a path. And it's so funny that we use the word path because the only thing that takes a path is a body, right? Does a spiritual the spirit take a path? Where did it start? <laughs> Where did the spirit move? You know, or like the, the, the the tip top of the spiritual mountain, that's only a body going up there. The fucking spirit doesn't go up to the top of the mountain. It's already there. Yeah? The whole language of spirituality is framed as a body. The dark night of the soul. What the fuck has a dark night of the soul? <laughs> Not the soul, for sure. <laughs> the mental state has a dark night. It also has dark days. <laughs> What I mean, you know, and we say in this one thing, spiritual malady. There's no spiritual malady. It's a mental malady. There's an obsessiveness. There's a the interest and attention for some reason that could be enriching your day. In a lot of ways, is enslaving you to yesterday and tomorrow. Yeah, you know, we can't seem to be able to pull away from that narration in one's head. And in a way, it's good because if you keep trying to pull away, you're pulling away as that which is only going to reinforce it, yeah? If you move, it has you. If you don't move, it seems to have you. But if you see it before, you'll see it as an activity, and activities, activities can end. Activities can end. It's like if you stopped the person and said, it was running, 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 running. And you said, hey, maybe you're not a runner. Ooh, it's maybe stop running. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but as long as he just never entertains the possibility. <laughs> hey, you can stop. What? Yeah, yeah. It's not even like that, though, because it's tricky. Mm -hmm. The stopping can be claimed also by the head. You just got to see the tricks it uses, and so when you're in the audience, you'll see the magic, you'll see the magician, you'll see it, you'll see how he diverts your attention and does something else, you'll see it, and if you're seeing it, that means you're not that, yes? If you can see something, you're not that, obviously, it's got to hit you sooner or later. If you see activities that are applying you, you're, at that moment, you're the you that was before all implying the seeing can see what implies you. You can see it, not looking from it, that's the identification with the, with the activity. But you can see the activity. How can, how can you not? You, if, if you report about it, there's a seeing of it. 
There's been a seeing of it, and then there's a reporting. There's no reporting that leads to the seeing. There's seeing, and then there's a reporting. All the downloads that have happened through this, there was something, there was energetic reconfiguration. Then the downloads were understood. Yeah. Then they could be presented. But there was the, the juice is there already. The, the understanding doesn't lead to that. The understanding is a way of explaining that here, yeah? Or inferring it or suggesting it here, yeah? But the, the understanding has no light of its own. The understanding is, is, is illuminated by the light, yeah? The light is inherently available at all times, right, where we are. There's no requirement necessary. How can you... The worst day you were seeing, just like the best day. The worst terrible thing you had eyes to see, and the best day you were seeing, it has no discrimination, it has no volition. So seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, touching is the five expressions of consciousness here, and consciousness is not a thing. Here's a thought, there's the th idea of being a thinker, then there's the body, then there's consciousness, then there's awareness. Instead of going awareness, consciousness, do, 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 and starting here, and then looking for this, this way, go back and you'll arrive at what you've been looking for. And when you arrive at what you've been looking for, it will tell you it's always been available at all times. So did you arrive? No, that gets negated. You have it maybe for a minute, the story. <laughs> and then it's just chopped like a freaking bamboo. What? Yeah. This way, go back. You know, a very good thing to use if you run into any difficulty. Ask who is it? Yeah. To yourself, just have a question like, all right, just worrying about next week and you're getting really jacked up and you go, oh, well, just let's insert this little question. Who is it that's worrying about next week? Oh, and then you go, me, it goes me, the head will go, me, like, you know, like a little, it's like when you catch a robocall, yeah, me, you know, like that, you catch it, you don't say anything, and it's suddenly, you go, eh, me, you know, yeah, all right, all right, and you go, oh, well, who is this me, yeah, and just put it to, you know, put it on the dime for a second, well, well, yeah, and so then hopefully, not only that, you'll diagnose the event. You'll see, worrying about next week doesn't matter much unless it's me. Yes, exactly. You'll see where the meaning's coming from. It's not coming from next week. You think next week is driving you crazy. It's the you that's driven crazy by next week. That's giving, it's giving it the meaning and then the meaning's biting it in its ass. It's like this, diagnosis of this same example in a very famous that book that you probably don't know about, The Course in Miracles, only from 1970s or something. And it says, to me, this is one of the greatest uh, diagnoses of everyone's day. So the assumption in The Course in Miracles is that we are the dreaming, that this is dreaming. Yes, this is like a dream you have at night you could call, maybe you would call it the awake dream. If you didn't wake up to this, the dream you had at night would be this. <laughs> to you, yes? If you didn't wake up to have a comparison to that dreaming, it would be this. It would be the reality you were in. Yeah, and then you would be saying, and in that reality, you would have another idea of a dream to lend the reality to the bigger dream. Yes, this is what happens. So you think you know, oh, that's dreaming, while you're dreaming. It's just like when, <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing. As soon as we can name something, it exempts us from it. We're right in the same freaking act, but whatever. You and I, so you and I are the dreaming of the dream. Yeah. We forget that we're dreaming. This is incredible. How the hell could that happen? It can't, yeah? But it can seem to happen, which is my favorite word in the English language, seemingly. It appears to be true or false to you. Now, it doesn't appear to be true or false. 
It can't. It has to appear to be true or false to you. There's a reality which is you in this situation. And then things and shit can appear to be true or false to you. Now that's on a little scale and on a huge scale. We don't like to go to the huge scale because there's a lot of fucking drama and fucking resentment and fight, you know, uh, on the little scale. You motherfucker. You <laughs> so we don't want to go there. But as, as below, so above, you know, micro, macro. See, if you see a principle and a very, it's, you can expand it to a very huge size. Why not? Why play small? Yeah, really. Come on, isn't it fucking tiring enough? Just let your mind go. You don't have to have 800,000 examples. Four or five can do. What you just boom, open up. All right, so you and I are giving everything all the meaning it has in the streaming. This is another lesson. That's an incredible statement. You and I give everything all the meaning it has. That's two absolutes in one sentence. It's incredible. Try to get out of that. You're giving everything all the meaning it has. There's no exemption clause. You're in. You're it. You're dreaming. Sorry. You and I are giving everything all the meaning it has. All right. You and I, we're dreaming, dreaming. We forget that we're dreaming. This is my little addition to the idea. How it seems to be true is there's an act of being identified as a thing. So the dreaming takes itself to be the dreamt. Yeah? It can only do that in time, because it can never do it in fact. But in time it can, seems to, it can seem to be true, yes? Time is the main ingredient. I know it may be over, it doesn't matter, just you'll get the... Something knows what I'm saying, yeah? So, yes? So suddenly, all right, so now the dreaming for, seemingly forgot that it's dreaming, and that dreaming is giving everything all the meaning it has. Remember that. Everything all the meaning it has. The dreaming forget it's dreaming by being identified as a dream. And now, everything it's dreaming has the ability to affect it. Ah! <laughs> Oof! That's, that's, the, that's it right there. So it oh, sounds great. I'm giving you everything all the meaning it has. And what? The dogs are coming at me. It's like the guy in uh, Game of Thrones, you know? And his, dog, his dogs eat him at the end. Remember the guy, the bastard guy? He had these terrible dogs, he'd seek on, sick on people, and he oh, they love me. But then he's, he's caught, and they go, they haven't eaten four days, and the dogs come in, they eat the hell out of him. Yeah, so here you go, why? Thoughts, my thoughts, my feelings, all my actions, why did I do that? Please help me. It's a fucking shit On and on. Tons, what? What happened? What happened? You told me I'm the dreaming of the dreaming. Well, I didn't tell you this is the dreaming of the dreaming. See, this is another little hook. There's only a few hooks. You have to come back a few weeks. <laughs> because this is another explanation. Because suddenly, all right, so when people hear about the dreaming, it's just casually taken to be you hearing. So now the dreamt just suddenly thinks it's the one hearing about the dreaming. That's another little then it goes off on another freaking track. Because now you're thinking, oh, well, I should have everything I want then if I'm dreaming. I should have 50 Cadillacs, <laughs> you know? No. You know what happens when you realize, when there's a realization you're dreaming, acceptance occurs. You will start accepting things as they are. <laughs> really? Even though you find thousands of faults in the past, you're like, fuck it, you know? <laughs> because you are actually dreaming right now this. So why are you in argument with it, really? <laughs> yeah, really. But how can it be? How can you accept that easily? Because it's not so. Yeah? It's not so. The longest most of us going to live is 100 years. What's that? Nothing, really. It's like, psst, like that. Yeah. Time is just made up. You can, when you're having a bad day, it lasts forever. When you're having fun, it goes fast. You don't see, what do you think? You're on like one of those tread machines and you're hitting the wrong dial. No, it's response, it's re you're dreaming it. You know, when the little, oh, this sucks. Oh, every second goes so slow. Oh, I wish this would last forever, it's over. <laughs> Because it's gonna, you're gonna be the butt of every cosmic joke as long as you have a butt. 
So long as you think you have a butt, you're going to be in the butt of all the jokes. You know? and then, but you can really laugh about them. Just like in recovery, I'm in re recovery from drugs and alcohol. Terrible things seem to have happened to me there. But I can laugh about them like crazy. <laughs> and some of them, their effects are happening right now. I mean, I got run over one night and its effects have gone on for 38 years. But what the hell? What are you going to do? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, somehow, something. You know. Maybe I had a bill to pay. I don't know. <laughs> the cosmos, this cosmic register. Oh, here they are. Oh, we're going to end this meeting soon. This lady has come not to see me. She's come a long way. She's probably gonna, just lay down over there. There's some, there's some pillows there. So, so we, uh, we're going to end. Yeah, because she does. She does. I'm not gonna, she just went from from Pescara to Rome, to Rome to LA, LA to here. She doesn't want to give a satsa. She doesn't even know. So let's, uh, let's just, um, you know, you got a little gist of it? A little flavor? That's good, yeah. So, let's pass the basket. Hey, pick a number, Charlie. <laughs>